Welcome to scenario two of our Navair software presentations. This scenario is the planning stage of the maintenance process. I will show you our graphical interface called Planair and how it uses templates, dependencies, resources and can show real-time work pack status. The planner has been developed to provide Gantt chart functionality. Details of the work cards for uh, work order are loaded and displayed according to their start dates and the duration as set in the planning tab in the NAVAIR database. The horizontal axis of the Gantt chart shows time divided into days and hours and also shifts. The shift pattern is user maintainable. The vertical axis of the chart is divided by the value in the sort option above. In this case, it is trade code. Within the chart, each card is shown as a coloured bar, extending from the start time of the card through to its end as determined by its duration. The card title is shown above the bar, the work card number is shown beneath. Each card can be clicked on and moved to a new position. Also, the duration of an item can be extended to increase the planned duration. If the card extends through a period where no work will be done because it's a non-working shift or day, the planned duration is extended to be over the non-working period. The non-working periods are indicated by being shaded and these are also user maintainable. If the card has predecessors or successors, these are shown extending from the end of the predecessor to the start of the successor. By right clicking on the card and dragging across to another card, a predecessor, predecessor successor relationship can be established. The first card clicked on is always the predecessor. A card may have any number of predecessors or successors. If the successor starts on or after the predecessor, the line is shown in green. If the successor starts before the predecessor, the line is shown in red. This also causes a card to be flagged as having an error indicated by a red warning triangle and by having the title and number details also shown in red. Hovering over the item gives a tooltip containing brief details and indicating what the error is. A card can be amended either directly on the chart as previously shown or by double clicking an art an item and entering an update dialog. Here we can see the details that match the planning tab in the NAVAIR database and these can be, be maintained. We can also delete, amend any predecessor or successor in this screen. The sort option pull down list allows the user to see the cards sorted into a different sequence. Filters allow the user to narrow down the range of cards shown. Here we can limit what is displayed by trade code, aircraft zone, shift, work type 
and status. Here we can see only the airframe trade code is displayed. Go back into the filter, I can easily add all the details back in. Milestone lines can be added to the timeline. These can be start, intermediate or end types. A card can be locked at a required time. This may be due to some constraints such as lack of materials or a specialised job. The locked card is indicated by the padlock symbol. When the card is locked, all the cards can be resequenced. Resequencing will take into account the non-working shift and any locked cards. The work pack will be resequenced into the shortest possible time where predecessors and successors allow. Templates are a copy of a previously loaded work pack. The flow of a previously loaded work pack can be applied to the current work pack. Items can still be moved and, if required, stored as a new template. The histogram at the bottom of the sh screen shows the re resource requirements for any shift. The coloured blocks in each shift match the sort colours. The histogram view can be changed to show estimated actual or remaining hours. Showing progress allows for a real-time view of the work pack. Each card shows a progress bar. The colour of the bar indicates different status. Green indicates that the progress time is less than the estimated time. White indicates that the card is still planned and the card has no bookings. Magenta shows the card is complete and the yellow card is inspected. The red card indicates that the actual man hours has exceeded the estimated man hours and may require investigation. This may have a knock-on effect to other work cards and therefore may cause some issue. To sum up, we have seen how Planair can be used to flow a work pack based on templates we have previously defined. We have also seen how it manages dependencies between tasks and how the impact of any changes to tasks are controlled. Our next scenario, scenario 3, demonstrates how we can carry out the work. You can monitor and control the work being done, including the tracking of actual costs against initial estimates. Thank you.